suit back on for this. Hello everyone, I'm Eddie Emmons and this is my co-host Anthony St. John and welcome to Dispatch Fear. In tonight's episode of Dispatch Fear titled Traffic Stop, we will be listening to a Summit City Police dispatch call provided to us here at Wild Future Productions by a gentleman named Alton Fear. Anthony, why don't you tell our fans a little bit about Alton Fear and a brief description of what our fans can expect in our first mini-sode of our new season of Dispatch Fear. First, it's great to be here, Eddie. Every year, 240 million 911 calls are made in the United States. This recorded dispatch call was provided to me by my good friend, Alton Fear, who's a retired police detective of over 30 years, now turned private investigator. Alton receives recorded 911 calls and police dispatch calls from all over the United States by police agencies to help disseminate certain cases. These recorded calls and dispatches are not mundane by any means, and many of these cases are beyond the scope of normal policing. This dispatch incident, labeled Traffic Stop, is a series of dispatches that take place in January of 1992 involving a mysterious black van which is observed speeding but was quickly realized to be involved with something far, far worse. This particular dispatch drew the attention of Alton, and this is where 911 is truly more than an emergency. Listener discretion is advised. Play the tape, Betty. Absolutely. All officers Bolo for early 1980s Black Ford Econoline van, last located on Myers Street, heading southbound, considered armed and dangerous, possibly linked to abductions reported in area. Officer 28 dispatch, spotted early 1980s black color Econoline van, license plate missing, high rate of speed, 55 and 25 proceeding southbound on Myers Street, attempting to stop. Happy, attempted traffic stop on unknown black colored van, high rate of speed, southbound on Myers. 28 dispatch, advised vehicle failing to stop, increased speed 75 and 25. Multiple stop sign failure to yield, requesting assistance code 3. Happy 28, unit 44, please assist 28 with attempted traffic stop of black Ford Econo line van proceeding southbound on Myers, high rate of speed, felony stop, proceed with caution. All units, be advised, new update. Described van was reported an abduction of young woman from Coleman Heights earlier this evening. Subjects reported with abduction were described as dressed in black attire, black jackets, wearing some types of monster mask. Officer 28 received notice dispatch. Possible van confirmed as one involved with kidnapping. Vehicle is described as early 80s Ford Econoline van, black tenant windows. Back door appears to be enhanced lock of some type. All units, subject involved in Coleman Heights abduction could possibly be involved with the van which Unit 28 is attempting to stop. Uh, 28, please update status. 28 dispatch, vehicle continues high rate of speed, 85 to 35, southbound on Myers, minimal pedestrian traffic. Van appears to be occupied by at least four subjects. Driver wearing black hat, possible hood and mask. Moving to scene in front and back of vehicle. Officer 28, dispatch, vehicle now eastbound on Kemper Avenue, increased speed, heading towards Warehouse District, speed 85, weaving in and out of traffic. 28 again to dispatch, all units be advised, someone striking back window of a van, possible female noted several attempts, hitting the window. Windows now smashed out, more movement can be seen striking other back window. Occupant appears to be a woman with tape over her mouth, hands seen, and possibly bound. Increasing my speed to rear van, now 105. Women no longer can be seen, disappeared back of van. All units, please be advised, Unit 28 is in pursuit of black colored Econoline van, high rate of speed, occupied by multiple subjects wearing dark clothing and monster masks. Subjects and persons occupying are possible subjects involved with noted kidnapping incident from Coleman Heights. Subjects should be considered extremely dangerous, considered to have at least one hostage from kidnapping. Officer 44 proceeding toward area northbound on County Line 5 Road just past Sawyer, Code 3. 28 dispatch to unit 44 be advised vehicle continues to fail stop speed slowing down and turning into warehouse here at hillside square van is shifting for more movement whoever's in there needs help believe to be possible abductee 
Back up on the way. Uh, unit 44, please advise ETA. Officer 44, en route. Stop my train on Tarpley near Bandera Street. Four minutes out once train passes. All units, be advised that van in pursuit by Unit 28. Subjects possibly involved in, with abduction of persons from Coleman Heights. Units, be advised that other abduction reports have been made from New Township of a black van, van, black van involved with kidnapping of two young women out of that township. 28 dispatch, be advised van has increased speed again, attempting to evade, turning in and out of side lots in industrial warehouse area, Hillside Square. Unit 28, current status. 28 dispatch, van is now traveling toward far lot area and we're a warehouse docks next to basketball court. going to need assistance, anyone. All units, officer needs assistance in area of industrial district and warehouse area near basketball courts. All units, please advise status. Get back in the fucking vehicle. 28 dispatch, all responding units, subject feels vehicle stopped, being held at gunpoint. Front passenger on a van threatening. Unit 28 advise. All units in area proceed to Unit 28 location, Hillside Square, the uh, lot area near near the docks and basketball courts. Officer 44, train stopped, taking alternate route to 28th location. ETA 5 to 7 minutes. So let's get this straight. We have people driving around wearing monster masks abducting people, then eluding police at very high rates of speed through neighborhoods. I get nervous when I'm traveling 55 and a 60. What's your thoughts, Anthony? Al provided us with a thriller here, Eddie. I feel like I'm right in the middle of the action. Really intense situation. I hope these people are caught. Let's play the rest of the dispatch and let's find out what happens. 28 dispatch, second subject, driver out of van, unknown male, all black, hooded, jacket, wearing a monster mask. Uh, multiple subjects being held at gunpoint, Adam 3, Adam 3. Four, five subjects, total exiting van, female subject, possible victim from kidnapping, also pulled from being van's rear. Women's hands are bound, tape over her mouth, attempting to hold group at gunpoint, Adam 3, Adam 3. All units, 28 needs assistance, group of five being held at gunpoint. 28 dispatch, five subjects noted, all wearing monster masks of some type. Subjects are surrounding and holding female against her will, all holding weapons, hammers, pipes. I'm holding back at patrol unit, subjects at gunpoint. All units, hold in line. Unit 28 needs immediate assistance, five are at gunpoint. 28 dispatch, stand down, stand down. Subjects advancing toward me, need to take action. Help now, help now. Officer 44 en route, code 3. Almost to you, 28. I'm coming, I'm coming. 2844 dispatch. All, all persons are proceeding toward me armed with pipes, hammers. Women hostages being used to shield to prevent gunfire. I'm pulling back to patrol car. God help me, where's the help? The subjects are chasing patrol unit. I'm sent in exit lot area under attack. All units clear the line. 28 needs assistance. The lot area, 1313 industrial area. Hillside Square in the warehouse district. Officer 44, coming through to back lot area, almost there, 28. 28-44, dispatch, more persons coming out of warehouse, dozens of them, all dressed in monster masks, carrying weapons under, a, I'm under attack, I'm under attack. There's, there's too many of them, gotta get out of here, under attack, bricks being thrown, multiple persons from your ANC, scene, gang attack, all in dark clothing and masks, the windshields destroyed, officer under attack, all units distress, Adam 3, distress, Adam 3. Officer 44 in area on scene, rear lot back of warehouse, nearly two, three dozen persons, all in black, dark clothing, all wearing monster masks of some type. Officer 44, persons armed with pipes, hammers, bricks, attacking Unit 28. Unit 28 windshield and car is destroyed. Officer down, officer down, subjects attacking Unit 28 needs medical attention, using potential lethal force if necessary. All units advised, officer needs assistance, under attack. Officer 44, dispatch, shots fired, shots fired. Assisting unit 28, in vehicle, injured, trauma to head and body. Officer 44, participants scattering, running towards back of warehouse areas. Reported abducted woman is missing, providing medical attention to unit 28. Send all units, send all units. All hell has broken loose. Two persons were shot, now evading area, running away. All armed with hammers, pipes, bricks, and knives. Multiple units proceeding to location. Count
County and surrounding area sending help. Medical's en route. Hold on, 28. They're almost there. Hold on. Officer 44. So many of them. They're everywhere. All armed. Not sure if the abducted woman was taken away with them or not. She is currently missing. All units, please advise. New reports are just received. A kidnapping reported of two young females in, from Springwood. Reports of possible male subjects wearing monster masks forcibly placing the woman into a trunk of a large blue sedan. Units responded described seeing subjects fleeing officers at a high rate of speed, possibly associated an incident in Hillside Square Industrial Warehouse area. Additional information, responding units now on scene with units 28 and 44. All units continue code 3. Status update, multiple reports from local jurisdictions of other suspicious activity. Reports coming in all over, multiple attacks, possible kidnapping activity at Monroeville Mall, Last Chance Supermarket, and Kruger's Department Store lot. Officer 44, responding units, be advised. Unit 28 requires emergency medical attention. Note, multiple subjects are all armed within warehouse area. Considered armed and dangerous, needs supervisors. Area needs perimeter set up now. Anthony, don't you have the case notes that Alton provided you when he sent the dispatch tape to you? Yes, I do, Eddie. I have the case notes right here that explains what happened after that dispatch call ended and also explains what transpired following the event. Let's take a look. Let's do it. Following the call, Officer 28, Bill DeLarge, survived the brutal attack. Officer 44, Jeff Torrance, was able to provide emergency assistance to Officer 28, who was suffering from blood force trauma to his head, face, arms. Officer 28's patrol car was completely destroyed. The subject used bricks, pipes, and crowbars to destroy the patrol car. The 1980s black alkaline van was abandoned near the crime scene. Inside the van, detectives found rope, shackles, duct tape, and a few bullets from a 9mm Smith & Wesson. Evidence of a sexual assault took place in the van. This woman that was inside the van was identified as Celeste Hardesy. She was abducted a day prior, but managed to escape during the chaos and survived a horrid attack. The van that was used in the abduction was reported stolen out of New Township prior to this encounter with the Summit City Police. Two of the subjects were believed to be wounded from the Officer 28's weapon. As of this entry, no one was charged or apprehended for these crimes. People noted an abduction from surrounding communities leading up to this event were never found. After intense investigation, the subjects of these heinous acts were believed to be part of a cult named The Others. This is Wild Future Productions where your fear begins. I would like to thank my production team here at Wild Future Productions. Myself, Eddie Evans, Anthony St. John, Leo Anthony, Marie Perry, Tennille Meadowlark, and Anthony White. If you don't know us by now, you will. Please hit the like and subscribe button at the end of the video.